Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of Trailblazer Reloaded Road to Max and Dragon Cup and having fun and making friends along the way. Yesterday I got 99 construction and they got ranger boots and then the leak points are up to over 32k. But as we start off today's video, as usual, I have to edit the previous one. But instead of doing a patrol today, I'm going to change it up a bit. I'm going to do some soul wars. I want to stack up the zeal. I'm currently at about 1600 and we'll see where I'm at after I'm done editing. Mm, probably a good idea to meet the public chat here. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> okay, this will be my last game. I don't get how like my the team I'm on almost always loses. I, I know like we won this last game here barely, but like almost every like we lost the first four games in a row. I don't get how I almost always get put on the losing team. Anyways, my zeal is up to 2800. I know last video I said that I want to start working towards max and like really grind out 99s, but a lot of these 99s are dependent on me doing Slayer and PVM. Like for fire making, I'll get logs as drops. For smithing, I'll get ores and bars as drops. For herb lore, I'll get the herbs as drops. Same with fletching, I'll use the logs that I get. For hunter, I'll be doing herbivore, but you want to wait till you have a higher herbivore level because you get better loot that way. And then runecraft, I want to wait till I get essence. I could get a lot of essence from the crate here at Soul Wars, which I might end up doing eventually. But there are some non-viable things such as mining, and I want to do volcanic mine right now. I'm not going to do it the proper way though, I'm just going to do the, like, the cheesing way for points. I am by no means going to be grinding out 99 today because it's a really slow skill and I would not even be able to get it all done in one day, so I'm thinking maybe I could break it up between a few days, just do a couple hours a day maybe. I was grabbing prayer bonus gear out of my POH and I was looking at my crozers. I kind of pointed this out last video, but like, I didn't realize it was like this. I have six Armadale ones, and then is there any of the others? I have, yeah, I have one Zamrat Crozier. How does that happen? The game's so weird. For every round that you do, you have to pay 30 Nemulite, or you can pay 3,000 Nemulite for permanent access. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go through a round just to refresh my memory, and then I'll show you how to do this. Nice, it all just came back immediately. I got 24K mining XP from that, and then I've completed a game of Volcanic Mine. Let's see, I got 26k XP total, and then how many points did I get from one round? 3200. I'm going to show you a full run through because I want you to see how easy this is to do. So you can do it for either your elite tasks or even in the main game to unlock all this stuff. When you first go in, there's a 30 second waiting period before the round starts, and this could be a good time to do stuff like fletching. When it begins, turn on your quick prayers set to pray range and run north and pick up the rock that you can see I have highlighted. You're going to have to pick up this rock too more times from the exact same spot, but you have to wait for it to respawn. And while you're waiting, you can check two of the events for extra points, and that's what we're doing now. On the left of the screen, you can see under the time remaining, it says what your points are currently at. Each time you throw the water, you get one point, but all the other actions you do in this method will give 50 points. So checking these vents will give 50 points each. And after you check the two vents, go back south to where the rock spawn is and pick it up. And while you wait for it to spawn one more time, you're going to place it and then mine it. Placing it gives 50 points and mining it gives 50 points, but it caps out at the max of 300 points you could earn from doing this per game. Sometimes there's already a rock placed, so you'd have to mine first, but either way you're always going to be doing 6 actions and picking up 3 rocks total. You'll get 100 points from checking the vents, 300 points from placing and mining the rocks, and 8 points from throwing water. So once you hit 408 points, you can make like a hippie and blow this joint. I'm starting from 81 mining today, and I'd like to get it to at least 85. It does not even necessarily from volcanic mine, even if I go mine iron or something later, but I'm gonna get 85 today. I now have the 40k points to buy the ultra fertile soil spell, the ash cover tome. So let's buy that. And that was the lead task, and of course, probably you want to read that too. This unlocks the ability for the Fertile Soil spell to be able to use Ultra Compost instead of Super Compost. And as you could see by my XP tracker, that was not even 30 minutes to get that many points. I mentioned before, maybe I'll mine iron instead, but I forgot about this shop. The, with the, the points you get, you can spend them on ores. So theoretically, if I were to do Volcanic Mine all the way to 99, I would be able to buy a lot of ores instead of just having a bunch of iron or gem rocks for a pretty 
comparable XP rate. There is also this ore pack you can get for 4,000 points. And I was taking a look at the wiki at the ore type distribution to see the average amount you'd expect per pack. And I took the price of each of these ores in the shop and multiplied them by the number on average you'd expect per ore pack. And it turns out if you were to buy these quantities individually rather than getting them from the packs, it'd actually be about 3,200 points, but the ore pack costs 4,000 points. And on top of that, you'd actually be able to choose what types of ores rather than just taking whatever is given to you. So really the only benefit of going for the ore packs is that you have a chance for the broken D pick. But as someone with the Wildy, who has five D picks already, I do not care about the D pick. For those of you wanting to do this method in the main game, I just want to let you know, it's probably about 12K points per hour is the very most you'd get. So if you're doing it really chill, maybe like 10K points per hour. <laughs> That's funny, I teleported home after a game to restore prayer. And I got the mining XP drop or the, the level appeared after I teleported home. And I got level 85 mining, which means I can mine rune. And the only task, uh, lead task I have left for Volcanic Mine is to mine a rune ore fragment from the minigame, which you need 85 mining for, so I can do that now. I don't know the actual real proper way to play this minigame, I just know that cheesing method to get points in a solo. So I don't even know what I'm doing, but I'll figure it out. I've done it in previous leagues by just doing random stuff and figuring it out. So if I could do it then, I could do it now. I'm pretty sure I go all the way south and then eventually there's, I remember there being like a rock. Oh, there it is. You can mine the boulder. Wait, no, I can't mine it. I have to throw water out so I can get up close to it. And now I can mine it. And then we wait for the runite ore fragment. It's not just a boulder. It's a rock. Wait, where are you going? No, come back. I need you. I got it. Mine a runite ore fragment. Hey, where'd my path go? Okay, I'll make the path again. I guess I'm pretty much done with volcanic mine then. I don't have to do any more, but I will do more because... Like I said, it's like the same XP rate as if I were mining gem rocks or iron ore, at least at my efficiency rate, except I'll get better loot from here buying all those ores, so may as well stay here. I'm having fun. That's some good general advice for RuneScape. If you're ever enjoying something or enjoying an activity that you don't normally enjoy in the game, then you should keep doing that because you might not have that same motivation in the future. If you take a look at the XP rate I'm getting, which is just over 700k XP per hour, if you divide that by 16, that would be about 44k mining XP per hour. So that's what this method would be in the main game. I don't think I clarified before, but this method isn't specifically for XP. This is more so if you're a solo player and you don't have a team and you just want to get points. This is more for points because 44k, it's like, it's pretty average. You know, it's not like crazy XP rates. If you're doing volcanic mine with a team, you'd be specifically going for XP, not so much caring about points. This is not the rate you'd get in a team. You'd be getting close to double almost, depending on your mining level. Here, I'll show you the wiki in a second. Depending on your pickaxe and mining level, you'd be getting a lot more XP, like 80K in the main game. That'd be about 1.3 mil in the league per hour. Oh my God, there's a DM. I was just doing an herb run. Uh, come on. Wow. <laughs> Please get it. No, no. Oh wait, can they not go over that? Is that like... Wow, okay, cool. Let's see what we get. Oh, I can actually use those. I'm good on the volcanic mine for today. I've, I've had my fill in. I just got to 89 mining. Nice, clean, perfect, even level. Uh, let me see how many... I'm at 286k points. I don't have to do volcanic mine specifically because I need these ores, because all these ores you can just buy from other shops around the game. But I was just thinking about the Laren's chest. I've, I've gotten a lot of Laren's keys so far, which I haven't even opened yet. But they drop ores, they drop steel bars, a lot of supplies really, including, oh yeah, pure essence too. I was just here because I liked doing the method, but I do want to get one more level today just to get the actual clean level of 90. So I'm, I'm going to mine iron ore, I know, I know. I want to see what XP rate I get though when I'm doing it. But yeah, I've spent about almost four hours doing volcanic mines today, which ironically in the main game, that's about, actually it's like, I think four and a half hours you need to unlock all the permanent area to get these two things. That's like four and a half hours. Look, the wiki says that only 0.5% of people have completed a game of Volcanic Mine, and if we go down further, only 0.2% have gotten the Ash Covered Tome. It's like under 30 minutes to get that. We go down a bit further, 0.1% have mined a Runite Ore Fragment. I know they're like kind of steep requirements, like getting the 150 Kudos and then the 85 Mining for this one, but guys, you probably haven't done this. You need to get on it. It's free points waiting for you. 
And I'm saying that because I want to make that the title of the video that you probably haven't done this. So here's the proof right here. You probably haven't done this. Like if there's 10,000 people watching this that are playing the league, that means only a hundred of those people have completed this task. Shout out to this dude who logged in under me and has now been competing with me to mine these rocks. I don't get it. It's not hard to find the world. Like every world's open. I could hop, but at this point, the person recognizes that I'm here and now we're competing on purpose. So let's see who wins. If I had to guess, probably the guy with the D pick would win. <laughs> nice rune pick loser. Not now, quiz master. I'm in a very important competition. <laughs> no, they did not call their friend to come over. No way. <laughs> I, dude, I can't imagine the chutzpah to log into a world and then call your clan over to crash the person that you that you just crashed. That's insane. No, don't tell me that's another person coming to mine. No way. <laughs> no way. And they all have rune picks. <laughs> okay, there's too many people here. <laughs> there is definitely a possibility that when I first logged into the world, this person was just banking and took a few extra minutes to bank. And then when they came back, they saw me here and got mad. But you would think that if that was the case, they would have said something like, hey, you know, I've been mining here. I was just banking or something. But instead, they've, they've just been completely silent the whole time, which kind of leads me to believe that it's more malicious. But honestly, I'm probably getting better rates than if I wasn't in any kind of competition with someone. Because if, if it was just, if I was here alone, I'd be sitting back in my chair watching YouTube and being very inefficient, but because I'm trying to focus extra hard, it's giving me better XP rates than I would be getting otherwise, even though I am not getting all the rocks. So a little bit of friendly competition can be a good thing. I turn on Entity Hider so I could see what the person under me is doing. <laughs> is this a bot or something? Cause like, why are they here for so long? Cause I am getting most of the ores since I have a D pick and a higher mining level. And it's, they're like kind of late to mine the rocks too. I'm actually genuinely confused because I've been getting pretty much every single ore and I'm really confused why this person is still mining and they're late to like half the mines as it is. But it can't be a bot because no one's going to bot in the league and plus this character is an Iron Man in the main game so like I don't, <laughs> I don't get what's going on. And I have achieved my goal of 90 mining. I just, I want to see something. I just <laughs> want to get a response. Interesting. As soon as I type something, this person has been like clicking more intensively. Like as soon as the rock spawns, they've been like tick perfect since I said hello. And since I stopped mining. <laughs> Grats. Okay. That was, that was actually really fun and stimulating, but uh, I, I'm done. I've done enough mining for today. And uh, I still did manage to average more XP per hour than I was getting at Volcanic Mine. And now I will AFK at this rock for the next five minutes that it takes me to mine it. Or will- oh, okay, I was gonna say, or will the spiders kill me first? But there we go, mine some runite ore in the wildy. I think that's- let me double check. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all the mining related tasks I could do that aren't get like 99 or XP milestones. So time to move on to other stuff. Like I said earlier, doing Slayer slash PVM is going to give me a lot of the skilling supplies that I need to max. And one of the big ways I'm going to get those skilling supplies also, like I mentioned, is going to be from the Laren's Keys. Currently got 40 of them. I'm going to keep stacking them up a bit longer though. I'm going to go do some Slayer right now. I got some greater demons. So I'm off to the Wildy Slayer Cave. I will do Slayer. Will, will do do. Will do do it's like Scooby Doo's cousin. I will will do do. Yeah. Oh, that's my first time getting a magic shortbow scroll for the MSBI, but I don't think I'd ever use that anywhere. I think RCB is just straight up better. Jad is gonna be spawning soon, and I have to tank a hit from Jad with no overhead prayer on. So let's do that right here. He's gonna spawn. No overhead. Wow. Nice. Sick. Such a tank. Wait, the healer is like, <laughs> this is barely spawned. <laughs> nice, that was sick. What was the time for that? 2126, that's ridiculous. Oh wait, I actually didn't have a fire cape. I had I had the one that I traded in to be able to unlock the Inferno, but I got uh I got my fire cape back. Ooh, it's time for DKs. I haven't been to DKs on this account except I was just getting one KC of each, but besides for that, I haven't actually done them on the Slayer task. There's three different rooms you could fight DKs. There's the standard one, there's the Slayer Lair, where you have to be on the Slayer task, and then for the league, they added private instances where 
you can get your own instance. However, if you teleport out of the private instance, I don't believe Last Recall will save your spot. So I'm going to jump into the standard layer, and I hope I could do damage on the other ones. Obviously, on Prime, I could hit. But last time I came, oh, let me summon the Guardian. Last time I came in here, I was not, I was like barely able to damage. Um, Rex and Supreme with range. Oh, I don't have the Elite Diary done. It doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna have to use them on there every time. But I'm like, I can. Pr I have one task left for the Elite Diary, and it's just to get a few Runecraft levels. Okay, fine. I'll do a bit of flicking. Quit begging. Now, oh, the Dragon Axe. Yes. <laughs> oh, I might want to bring Anti as well. I forgot about that. Let me equip the Dragon Axe and spec with that. I've completed a hard task use the special attack of a dragon axe. Then after each rotation, or after however many rotations I want, I can teleport home. My poison will be cured when I leave my house. And then I could last recall right back in. Yeah, actually I will be fine doing range only. It's just last time I came here, I think because my stats were lower and my gear was slightly worse. I wasn't doing as well, but it's fine. It's all right now. You can teleport out of your POH and it won't reset the crystal memories. Thankfully, imagine if it just did right there. I, just, I would just like really dumb. Yes, the Sarah's Ring 4KC. <laughs> a circle. Is there? Wait, actually, I'm not gonna equip it yet. I'm gonna save them and then equip a bunch of things at once. I can't believe it dropped the bass. Another Dragon X. Another circle. What have I done? Oh, I'm a Dagnoth Prime Champion. We'll probably see that two more times in a second. Dagnoth Supreme Champion and Dagnoth Rex Champion. There's the Warrior's Ring. Yo, the me. Battle staff. Another DX. Oh, the Archer's Ring. Yes. As as a Ranger, as the Trailblazer Ranger, I can really appreciate an Archer's Ring. Yeah, 16 KC, not bad. In the just for reference, in the main game, they're one in 128. So in the league with the five times drop multiplier, they're about one in 25. Yeah, I'm not even gonna worry about the anti-poison because I've been teleporting home maybe every two rounds of the DKs. So like the poison doesn't really do that much damage in that time. Plus I have unlimited food. Warrior's ring. There's so many uniques. I'm gonna stop showing the uniques until uh, the task is over, unless I get a new thing. Like I still need the B ring, but besides for that, I'll stop showing the dupes. There's the B ring at 19 KC. Wait, so I got lucky with all the rings then. I've already gotten dupes of some of them too. Well, I'm glad uh, that's taken care of. Actually really glad to get spine chaps as a drop because there's a master clue that you need those for, unless it's disabled in the league, this step, but it's in Drainer Village, but you need Legends Cave, so I can do it. I, I just don't know if it's enabled for me. Dagnoth Prime Adepts, and again for Supreme, and one more time for good luck. I have now defeated each of the DKs 50 times, and then there's also lead tasks to defeat them each 150 times, and then 300 times. And the DK's task is done. Man, it is so hard to not press record every time I see that orange glowing beam on the ground. I'm so used to it, and every time I'd see that, I would just, I would jump up. But yeah, pretty early on, I, uh, I finished the DK's collection log, or like all the normal items done, including pets. It looks so clean, 60 KC of each. And this task took me like pretty much exactly two hours. I got six items here. I'm not sure if they're all tasks, but that'd be nice if we get six tasks done. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Yo, that's awesome. Or seven, because there's also the one to equip every DK's ring. Wow. Putting the total up to now 34k. I'm gonna spend 2.6 mil to get Nightmare Zone points, and I'm gonna imbue all the rings, even though I'm probably not even gonna use, well, I'm not gonna use all the rings. I, I probably won't use the warrior ring at the very least, but it, it just looks cool to have them all imbued and have them all in the bank. Is there a separate task for equipping imbued rings? No. Goodbye suffering. Archer's ring is my new best friend. Sometimes, not always. What what I just get? Traveler parchment two. Two two trout <laughs> what? <laughs> wow. Hmm. Does it normally drop as two? I'm sorry, I'm just eating dinner right now. Oh, it does drop as two. I've never seen that as a drop before. I look over and I'm like, did I get something from a superior? I was doing some apatol and made it up to eleven hundred laps. But as I wind the night down, I was gonna go do some mining. You know, keep within the theme of the video still, you know? I kind of want to do Slayer, but I just got this super secret Slayer task that I want to save for the next video. So instead, I will be mining iron tonight. Good morning, 91 mining. Just kidding, I tricked you, it's not morning. Wait, no, actually, technically it is morning, yeah, never mind. 
92 mining. Good morning. Now it's actually morning for real, but you might not believe me because I'm, I'm like the boy who cried wolf because I tricked you last night into thinking it was morning, except it actually was morning. Anyways, um, thank you very much for watching. Yeah, we're going to wrap up here. <laughs> Uh, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope that you have a great day, and I will see you again tomorrow.